Welcome back, Grade 8, to Take 4 of the Virus Sessions, where we look at multi-step equations. We're now about 3 hours and 22 minutes into lockdown, and already some of you have counted the number of steps from one side of your house to the other, from one side of your room to the other. Wow, it's going to be a long 21 days. The next type of equation we've got to solve also is one of many steps. And it's this point in our educational journey that many of you get a bit lost. If you look carefully at this particular sum, you can see we've got two groups of things that we've got to deal with. We've got variables, and then we've also got numbers. And that's going to make it a little bit harder to deal with. So stay focused. You can always rewind, rewatch, rewind, and rewatch, and see if you can master multi-step equations. So remember, a couple micro lessons ago, we learned how to move numbers and letters and get them into a place that we want them to be. So in this case, let's move the 54 over to the other side. And we're going to move the 5x's be with the three x's. And we're going to move things, if you remember, by adding and subtracting. So if you look carefully here, we have a minus 54. So with equations, you always do the opposite when we move things. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to add 54 to both sides. If we do that, the number becomes zero on one side, but becomes 162 on the other side. Now the next step is often the hardest for students. So in front of this 5x is a plus, it's a positive 5x. So to move it and make it into zero x's, we have to take away 5x's from the 5x's to get zero x's or zero. And remember, whatever we do on one side, we've got to do it on the other side. Now, we need to be very, very careful. Here we have a plus 3 and a minus 5. So my final result here is not going to be 2. It's going to be minus 2x. So just be very, very careful about that. And now look and see where we're at. We have our variables on one side. We have our numbers on the other side and we're very close to solving. So now if we get things closer to the equal sign, we'll rewrite the sum like this, minus two X equals 162. So again, we've got some multiplication happening here. It's minus two times X. So in order to get one X all by itself, we divide by actually everything. And it's a common error, guys. Don't make this mistake. We divide by the minus and the two. So we include the sign. And whatever we do on one side, we do on the other side to get an answer where one X is equal to negative 81. All right, take a few moments, press pause, and see if you can solve this one yourself. All right, here we go. So remember again, we want to get the numbers onto one side and we want to get the variables onto another side. We need to move them over. And to move them over, we basically need to cancel them out by making them zero. So starting with my numbers, I'm gonna subtract 38 from both sides. And I'll get 120 on the one side, I'll get zero on the other side. And the hard part for most of you, I'm going to subtract 8x, because this is a positive 8 up top from both sides. And I'll get minus 3x on the other side. Always try to rewrite your equation after you've done this first step and make sure that you have all of your negative signs or positive signs absolutely correct. 
So the final step in this one, we've got minus 3 times x. We've now learned, it's very, very easy. We're going to divide by the sign and the number by minus 3 on both sides. And interestingly, the final answer here is going to be positive because we have two negatives that give us a positive result. That's all there is, grade 8. This is how you solve multi-step equations. Stay healthy. Don't go crazy. Talk again soon.